In this chapter, I want to tell you how to use speech to help you create the sound of each voice. In my choirs here, I use a technique called Hercules Wimpy Guy Girl, and you speak three different ways to help you get the sound of each voice. Now, first of all, Hercules was probably the strongest guy who ever lived, and when he spoke, he would go like this, ah, and he uses his chest voice, of course, because he's Hercules. Now, the head voice has a much lighter sound to it. And I use a technique called Wimpy Guy. Now, who's Wimpy Guy? Wimpy Guy is the 98-pound weakling that all the other guys pick on. And he can't defend himself. And when the guys pick on him, he goes, hey. And that doesn't keep the guys from picking on him, but that's what he says. Now, so that's Hercules and Wimpy Guy. Now, a girl just goes like this. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to make the sound of each one. I want you to echo me. So let's do Hercules first. I'll do it, then you do it. Go like this. Ah, go. Right, let's do that again. Chest voice. Ah, go. Right. Now, for the wimpy guy, say this after me. Hey, go. Right, do that again. Listen to me. Hey, go. Here's another one that works pretty good. Hey, you guys, knock it off. Say this. Hey, you guys, knock it off. Go. Good, one more time. Hey, you guys, knock it off. Go. Okay, now for the falsetto. Hercules, wimpy guy, girl. Just go like this. Ooh, go. Go do that again. After me. Ooh, go. Good. Let's do each one one more time. Chest voice. Hercules. Ah. Go. Wimpy guy. Go. And girl. Ooh. Go. And that's how to use Hercules, wimpy guy girl, to make the sound of the chest voice, the head voice, and the falsetto.